On the evening of the 14th of June, 1986, the Mindbender roller coaster at the Fantasyland Amusement Park within the West Edmonton Mall in Canada suffered a severe malfunction. Several bolts came loose from a wheel assembly on one of the cars, causing it to leave the track and collide with a concrete pillar, ultimately resulting in the deaths of three of the riders and severe injuries to one other. The Mindbender at Fantasyland, a theme park which is now known as Galaxyland, was the largest indoor triple looping roller coaster in the world. Having officially opened only a few months earlier, in March of 1986, it was a popular attraction, ridden by hundreds of patrons each day. The ride lasted just under 90 seconds, and featured multiple inversions, helixes, and close encounters with pillars, supports, and other scenery. On the day of the accident, maintenance crews had temporarily closed the roller coaster after hearing a metallic rattling sound. They conducted several test runs without passengers on board in order to try and diagnose this problem, but could find nothing amiss. They decided to reopen the ride and sent around a train filled to capacity with 16 passengers. The ride functioned as normal until the approach to the final loop. It was at this point that a faulty wheel assembly on the final car in the four car train gave out and the car came loose from the track. Now no longer attached to the roller coaster rails, this final car was held on only by its coupling to the car in front. It fishtailed wildly, shearing off most of the undercarriage in the process. The damage to the car caused the lap bar restraints to release, and the four riders in the car were thrown to the concrete floor below. The coaster continued along the track, but due to drag from the damaged car, was unable to complete the final loop. It stalled and rolled backwards, causing the damaged car to slam into a concrete support pillar, finally halting the damaged train. Passengers remaining on board the train were left suspended midway up the loop for almost half an hour before an effective rescue could be completed. The four passengers thrown from the damaged car included Tony Mandrusiak and Cindy Sims, an engaged couple, along with their friends Rod Chaco and David Sager. Rod Chaco was the only one of the four who survived the crash. He sustained multiple traumatic injuries, including a punctured lung, broken ribs, broken legs, and other multiple fractures. Following the accident, the ride was closed and thoroughly inspected. It was determined that the cause of the accident was a combination of a design flaw by manufacturer Anton Schwarzkopf and a lack of proper maintenance and inspection by West Edmonton Mall. The roller coaster was completely refitted. The number of cars in each train was reduced, redundant safety harnesses were added, and an anti rollback mechanism was fitted. The ride was made easier to inspect, and a rigorous program of maintenance was put in place. The ride continues to operate to this day, with a perfect safety record from 1987 onwards. Rod Chaco suffered from an addiction to painkillers for more than a decade but eventually conquered this and went on to live a full life. He has made frequent requests to West Edmonton Mall to erect a small plaque or a bench in remembrance of the victims of the crash. The mall has consistently refused this request, not wishing to remind patrons of the fatal accident which haunted the first year of the Mindbender's operation. <laughs>